Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the, um, I don't know, 10th, Wednesday the 10th, and today was a lovely day outside if you like drizzle and rain and cool breeze blowing, it's absolutely crazy, so still it's not 40 below wind chills and all that stuff that I'm used to dealing with this time of year up north, so definitely excited about that, but got this morning, um, got a few things taken care of, nothing major. Dog had to go out at like, I don't know, 5.05, whatever he woke me up to go outside. I was definitely um, not a big fan of that. So we're working on trying to get him back out of that training. When I had other dogs here, they were up a lot earlier, and I'm trying to make sure he does not fall into that theory of 5 o'clock in the morning like the dogs at the beach house do, because that's not, I'm not going to be getting up every morning at 5 to let my damn dog outside. So we're um, working on a new policy for that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, went ahead though, got up, got a few things done, nothing real major. Um, got Karen off to work from there. Uh, it was just that drizzle rain. I wanted to go for a long bike ride today, but it kept raining and drizzling all day. And riding a bike in the rain in the warm is not a big deal, or even hot. It's actually fairly pleasant. Riding the rain and uh, riding the bike in the rain when it's chilly, it's definitely um, way way worse because then you're just you never can get your body core temperature up because that water just sucks the heat out of you way too fast. So. But um, did get a few things done. I went ahead and um, rebuilt the um, hinges on a couple doors of the house, the one going to the garage. I had fixed every door I come across. I finally just give up when it's driving me nuts. And whoever built this house was a bit of a moron at the time. And like they put these little tiny like, screws in like this long. Exterior door to the house. I got to go up to the garage. is like literally inch long screws. And I'm like, what the hell? But no wonder why they pull out of the frames. And they start to sag and all that good fun stuff. So the, um, there was a lot of things here that happened. But just who in the hell puts those little short screws in? So I went through and built um, the one door um, to the garage. Also pulled the door here at the front out. There was like a gap underneath it where the weather strip underneath the door was bad. But the main seal plate, where people like the walks on the ground thing, it's a weird design and it's like dented down in the middle where um, everybody stepped on it over the years. Instead of stepping over it, they stepped on it apparently and just crushed it down. So you got this weird gap in the middle. Um, trying to seal that up, um, keep air and stuff, the heat and whatnot out and you know, bugs and stuff too. Um, ended up buying one that goes underneath the whole door and it's too thick because the outside edges, the door fits pretty well. So now I'm in this weird world of what the heck. So I did a bunch of trimming and cutting and pulling and just cut a bunch of things off and finally made it work. But in the process, I actually pinched my finger, if you guys can see it or not there. I gave myself a damn blood blister that hurts so freaking bad. Like that thing is so damn tender. Oh my Lord, it hurts. So got that done in that whole time frame of doing all that door stuff, taking the door off the hinges. And I've got self-closing hinges, which is a pain in the bucks. I forgot how to um, go by them. I just popped the pin and put them out. So I kind of forgot. You actually do have to unscrew at least one side. And unfortunately not paying attention, I forgot to remove the tension before I did that. So I had to try for how to remove the tension once they're off the door. And I totally screwed up. I won't make that mistake again because that was a giant pain in the butt. So got it put back up there though. Got um, the door off, got it all installed. During that time, I had a lady come by who wanted to purchase an old vintage desk we had. Um, this clean out of back room. So I put it on Facebook. She drove down from Palm Coast and picked it up. It was still drizzling rain at the time. So we basically just loaded up in there prius and she headed home with it so hopefully she gets it out of her car gets it refinished and has a great time and enjoys the desk a lot so it was a nice desk it was a ton of groove it was a really nice you know um really not ton of groove um, um dovetail uh cut drawers and stuff really nice little setup but just not something we wanted anymore so got rid of that got that finished up um ended up just kind of chilling a little bit and the rain kind of kept coming and going off and on it looked like it was going to have a gap in rain enough so I said to heck with it, um, loaded the bike up. I actually had to run to Walmart, um, bought some cheese and stuff for my dog. That's why I gave him his allergy pills with. Uh, every day is a slice of cheese. And then also um, had to buy some kosher salt and some other stuff to clean my brand new cast iron skillet that um, told Karen, as soon as you wash it, you have to dry it off and oil it. And she stuck it in the drying rack to let it dry instead of drying it off. And it rusted instantly. Like literally it's all covered in rust. So. I've got to get some um, salt and not to clean it up, which um, I did get the salt, haven't cleaned it up yet. So I got to re-clean it, um, re-oil it, and then re-bake it, which takes like two hours in the oven. It's ridiculous how it takes to re-season the pan, but I'll get that done. Uh, went ahead though from there, decided to go for a bike ride. 
took off on the bike, went down to one of the trails where they don't have it finished yet. I kind of went around the part that's missing the bridge and then took off riding. And there's parts that wasn't done, but I rode 10 plus miles out, <clears throat> turned around, came back. Um, so I got my 20 plus mile bike riding today on a trail that's technically not open, I don't think. It's really open, but there was no sign saying trail closed. The only thing I saw, I saw was a sign that said road closed, which I assume would keep people from driving on it, not necessarily keep people from riding or running on it. So kind of excited about that. I might next time drive down about where I turned around at and then see if I can't figure out how much further the trail goes down and see what's there. It's not the most attractive trail in the world. There's not much going on. They Part of it runs right next to a road. They cut too many trees back so you get no shade. There's a bunch of problems with it, but hey, eventually they talk about this thing is going to connect all the way through and you can go hundreds of miles on it and that'll be a cool day. So I might one of those days do a, um, once I get the trail finished up, do like a three or four day bike ride camping um, type hike thing. So it'd be kind of cool to camp out for a few days and knock out a lot of that trail. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Got back home, um, made up some rice, made up some chicken um, for dinner, um, had a wonderful little meal with Karen, talked about her day at work, all that good fun stuff. And then pretty much just chilled out the rest of the night. So yeah, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.